Now in the last part of this question then we've got to show that the positive root x equals alpha is equal to 2.057 to three decimal places. And briefly just to show you how this is done what we do is we take the lower bound of this number which is 2.0565 and we take the upper bound which is 2.0575 now a root to this equation f of x equals 0 is essentially where this graph would cross the x-axis. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at putting 2.0565 into this equation. In other words what we do is f of 2.0565. Substitute that for x in there and if you do that on your calculator, what you should find that you get is minus 0.01378 and so on. Okay? And what does that mean? Well, from a graphical point of view, it means that at this point, the y value, y being say f of x, is going to be down here, negative, right? at minus 0.01378. Now what I'm going to do is substitute this number in for x. I'm going to work out what f of 2.0575 is. And if you do that, put it all into that equation, the x value here, what you should find you get is 0.00414 and so on. So what does this mean? Well it means that on this graph when you substitute this number in for x, you get a positive value somewhere up here. Okay, it's not drawn to scale, but essentially what we've got is a graph coming through from here across the x-axis and up to this point. I'm not sure what happens obviously after this, but that doesn't matter. All we need to know is that at this point we've got the root alpha. Okay, x equals alpha. This is the value which makes this equation equal zero. And because it lies between the lower bound and the upper bound, between these two numbers, then we can say that it must be 2.057 to three decimal places. But we do need to summarize. So what we need to say is since there has been a change of sign, that is, um, it's gone from negative to positive. Let's just put that in. It's been a change of sign. Okay. There must be, be a root in the interval. Okay, and we could write that interval, okay, 2.0565 to 2.0575. We often write intervals in square brackets like this. So therefore, that root alpha equals 2.057 to three decimal places. All right. So hope you've been able to follow that and that brings us now to the end of this question.